The three candidates for Indiana governor got their first shot at each other tonight, sort of. Mike Pence, Don Gregg, and Rupert Bonham took questions tonight at a political forum at IUPUI, but they didn't get in any cracks at each other. Our TV6 reporter Norman Cox is live at the State House with more on the first joint appearance of the fall campaign. Norman. Well, the candidates have agreed to, but not formally scheduled, three debates for after Labor Day when they'll be able to respond to each other's questions. But tonight didn't go quite that far as they answered separately questions posed by former Chief Justice Randall Shepard with the other two waiting off stage. Still, some si clear significant differences did appear. The most striking differences among the three candidates came in the area of taxes and government spending. Republican Mike Pence continued to push his plan to cut the state income tax by 10%. He believes that will help make Indiana the most business-friendly state in the Midwest and grow the economy and jobs. But he would hold back some money from the growing surplus to make sure Indiana doesn't fall back into deficits if the national economy sputters. I, I would say let's take one out of three uh, dollars uh, in, in that structural surplus and, and, and put that in the bank. Um, uh, the other two out of three dollars, though, I'd like to use to grow the economy and not grow the government. Democrat John Gregg answering the same question, questioned whether the surplus is really as big as it's been made out to be. Gregg believes part of it was built on the backs of schools and local governments, and he's not anxious to start issuing big refunds. I think the key to our economic development, though, is not necessarily to rush and give all that away and give it back. We have to ascertain the actual dollar amount. I think the second thing we need to do is make sure that we have a very, very fair, broad-based tax policy. Libertarian Rupert Bonham said he and his team are putting together a scenario for cutting taxes, but he questioned many of Indiana's current practices, like giving tax abatements to attract companies, then more tax breaks to keep them. We're dealing with a couple companies right now that if we don't give them tax abatements again, they want to leave the state. Well, the idea of bringing companies in is to get them established and then to get them paying taxes, not to continue to give them free taxes. Tonight's three-man appearance was very polite and reserved. Of course, part of that was due to the fact that they weren't directly questioning each other and also the always gentlemanly demeanor of former Chief Justice Shepard. Whether that holds when the actual debates begin remains to be seen. Well, Todd, will, Jenna. That will play out soon enough. Norman Cox, live downtown. Thank you.